Australia has never been where a new equine vaccine has been rolled out before. So it's a new experience and coming to terms with a, a new equine vaccine is something that horse owners and the horse industry hasn't been in that place before. It's a misguided tendency to think that this vaccine in some way hasn't been subject to the same level of rigorous safety and efficacy testing as other vaccines on the equine market. There's almost a full decade of research that's been conducted internationally um, and in Australia leading to the development of the Hendra virus vaccine. In my experience this vaccine performs better than many other vaccine candidates that we've examined over the years in, in our research. What we see with Hendra virus vaccine is a reaction rate of less than 0.3%. And the vast majority of those reactions were temporary site swellings or local muscle soreness. No horse deaths have been attributed to the administration of the Hendra virus vaccine. When these claims have been investigated, another cause of death has been identified. This has included snake bite, grain ingestion, twisted gut, or other health issues. If they get a sniffle or a lump from the injection or a, a skin patch where the, where the hair falls out, honestly, that doesn't bother me at all. This is no different to what a human would experience with perhaps a tetanus injection. A recent document released by the World Health Organisation in fact stated that up to 80% of humans experience a local site reaction following a tetanus vaccination. With all the horses that we've had vaccinated, we've had no illness, no sickness, no problems at all. They've just con continued on working, no, no life-threatening issues, all has been very simple and easy. If horse owners suspect that their horse has had a reaction to the vaccine, they have the choice of reporting that reaction to their vet, directly to Zoetis, or directly to the APVMA. Zoetis takes its responsibilities very seriously and passes all reports on to the APVMA. The APVMA then form their own independent assessment of the causality of that reaction. I would feel so much more comfortable going to a competition knowing that every horse there is vaccinated, no one's at risk, no person's at risk, the horses are at, are at risk, and we just go and compete safely. Vaccinating your horses against Hendra virus is probably the single most targeted, strategic thing that you can do to reduce the risk of your horse, you or your families being infected by Hendra virus.